started using when I was 13 years old. I was in boarding school in England. I was introduced to uh, marijuana and alcohol. That escalated very quickly uh, into harder drugs as I grew older. Um, got introduced to benzos, cocaine and heroin by the age of 17. I overdosed numerous times. Uh, I've been arrested numerous times. But the worst thing was the uh, emotional effect that I had on myself. It reached the point where my mother was locking herself in her room when she sleeps. They were terrified of me and I was terrified of myself. I decided to seek treatment at the edge as I heard that they have, uh, they focus on the physical aspect of, um, of treatment along with the CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Uh, which gives us tools to use. I was impressed to see that uh, there was physical training every single day of the week. Uh, it wasn't repetitive or boring as the schedule changed from the fitness aspect of it. And on the weekend during the excursion we did uh, things like uh, trekking or hiking, the off-road cycling. Fitness has helped me with my uh, journey in recovery because it gives me a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning. It's a hobby that I finally have. Uh, it's something I enjoy, which I didn't think for many years. I mean, since I left school at the age of 16, I haven't exercised until I came to the cabin edge. I've left the, the, the cabin edge a month and a half ago, and I've competed in three competitions. The first one was a Tough Mudder, the second competition was a duathlon and the third one which I did this weekend was a CrossFit competition and I came third place in that. What I would say to other addicts out there struggling is seek help today, don't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, I never thought I'd be in the place I am today both physically and mentally in such a short time if it wasn't for me taking my addiction back.